Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Thursday, June 9th. Warming temperatures and mostly dry conditions heading through Saturday. Although it's less likely, especially on Saturday, a few spots may still hit 90 or just above 90 degrees. We're seeing a little earlier arrival of a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening up towards Salmon North, towards uh, Lost Trail Pass, the Salmon Breaks as well. That chance of showers and storms slowly spread southeast on Saturday. Sunday into Monday, that's our best chance of seeing moisture falling. That's going to be much cooler. There's going to be a little snow, a bit of snow in the higher elevations and still some thunderstorms. And across the Central Mountains and the Eastern Highlands, some folks may see some uh, pretty good uh, air, rain and snowfall amounts, uh, even down into the lower elevations in those areas. Satellite 4 right now, not much going on. A few lingering light showers and sprinkles along the Wyoming water. Those are moving to the east. Otherwise, higher clouds to our west. Like we said, it's going to be warmer and mostly dry for the next couple of days here in central and eastern Idaho. Looking at that weather risk outlook, nothing today, really nothing of impact for Friday. We start to see that shower and thunderstorm activity spreading through. Even with the increasing winds across the Snake Plain and the Magic Valley, we're not necessarily looking to hit lake wind thresholds on American Falls Reservoir or wind advisory criteria elsewhere across that area. But we did highlight a little higher risk, mainly for the higher rain and snowfall amounts. Most of this is going to be rain. Not much in the way of impactful snowfall above 7,500 feet both days. Most of this is going to be the moisture falling, the amounts which also may bump up some of our rivers and streams a little bit. And you'll notice that is showing up now in the Big Wood River forecast at Haley. At that gauge, still not hitting minor flood stage, but still expected a little bit higher bump than we've seen in the forecast the past couple of days so certainly the moisture falling will have a little bit of an impact if you're headed out uh, into those regions over the weekend into the early part of next week let's first focus on temperatures though for today we're going to be in the 70s and 80s in the lower elevations mid 80s once you get over towards Shoshone Twin Falls over into the Treasure Valley 60s if you're headed up into the mountains for Friday a little bit warmer 75 in Stanley but many of the lower elevations mid to upper 80s maybe pushing near 90 down towards the Utah border you know we've been talking about here occasionally we give you always the most likely forecast and sometimes we like to show you the potential well, what's plan what happens if scenario B happens here's a look at tomorrow you know some places are pushing 90 it only looks like there's a 10 to 15 percent chance across the snake plain where we are most likely looking at mid to upper 80s of maybe just barely pushing 90 degrees. A little higher down towards Malta, some of those percentages near 50 percent. We're looking at 30 to 45 percent down towards the Utah border. Certainly looking to exceed 90 into Nevada, portions of Utah, Nevada, also into portions of the Treasure Valley, especially between around Mountain Home and Glens Ferry. Looking at the forecast for Saturday temperature-wise, we start to cool off a couple of degrees in the Central Mountains. That's because we have a little more cloud cover, but warming up a couple of degrees once you get to the Snake Plain onto the south and to the east. And look at Preston, 90 degrees. Looks like down around Holbrook, down towards south of Malta, we're going to hit low 90s. Going back to that, well, what's going to happen? What's the potential of a hit 90 across the some areas for Saturday? You'll notice it's still only about 15 to 25 percent across the Snake Plain where we have those mid to upper 80s. But you'll see we're hitting 60 percent or higher probabilities, the chance of exceeding 90 degrees again down towards Malta, Holbrook, down towards Preston, those areas. And once again, certainly looking at a higher potential across portions of Nevada and Utah in terms of seeing those 90 plus degree temperatures. We get into Sunday much cooler over the central mountains where it's going to be in the 60s and 70s 50s in the mountains but ahead of that main band of heavier showers and thunderstorms still in the 70s and 80s we're going to be 85 to 90 again down towards the uh, utah border preston 87 montpelier you're still going to be in the low to mid 80s for sunday but look at monday 
we've had this MO all spring, warm, and then it really gets chilly for a couple of days. And we're looking at that for Monday, 50s and 60s in the lower elevations, 30s and 40s if you're headed to the mountains. Now, with this first little bit of moisture coming in tomorrow and Saturday, not a lot, just a couple of hundreds here and there up around the uh, Montana border. About maybe close to a tenth if you're headed up towards north of Salmon, towards Gibbonsville, and also Lost Trail Pass on on into the Idaho Panhandle. Without getting into specific amounts as we head into the early part of next week, what we can do is we can look at the probability of certain amounts. So for the period 6 a.m. to Sunday to 6 a.m. Tuesday, much of the area is likely going to see over a tenth of an inch of rain, but the percentage is not very high down towards uh, Twin Falls and also down towards Burley, where it's only about 40 to 50 percent. Well, what about half an inch or more during that same period? It really drops off until you get to the higher elevations of the central mountains, the big holes, and up along the Montana border. These percentages are 50% or higher, seeing more than a half an inch of rain during that 48-hour period. Looking at the potential of over an inch, it again really drops off, but up around, say, Sawtell Peak, the mountains south of West Yellowstone along the border, also around the Sawtooth and the Stanley area, we're looking at percentages around 40 to 50 percent, maybe just a little bit more 50 to 55 percent in a couple of spots. And it's not zero. It's low, but it's not zero. Maybe some areas may just eke out a little bit over two inches of, of precipitation. That's going to be mostly rain, but a little melt, bit of melted snow possible as well. So like we said, the next couple of days, it's going to be warmer, less likely, but still a few spots hitting 90 degrees. Chance of showers and thunderstorms arrives a little earlier up towards uh, Lost Trail Pass tomorrow, spreading southward on Saturday. Much cooler, heavier precipitation amounts, rain and high mountain snow with thunderstorms Sunday into Monday. And if you're in the central mountains and uh, up along the Montana border around Island Park, Manita Pass, you stand to see a good shot of moisture coming with this storm system. Have a great day and stay safe out there, everyone.